It is only when we prioritize the things of God as higher than our physical needs will we be truly satisfied. Top of the morning to you. When we consider who we are in Christ with the mind of love and a firm determination to get to know God better as we study the Beatitudes in Matthew 5, verse 6, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be completely satisfied. When we get hungry and thirsty, our minds are focused on fulfilling those needs until the needs are met. Jesus is telling us we should focus on fulfilling our need for righteousness, just like we would seeking water and finding food to fill our physical bodies. Righteousness is being in the right, being in right standing with God. We fell out of right standing in the garden when we chose sin over obedience to God. Romans 9.31, the people of Israel tried so hard to get right with God by keeping the law but never succeeded. Verse 32, why not? Because they were trying to get right by keeping the law instead of trusting him. They stumbled over the great rock in their path, Jesus. Romans 3.26, God declares sinners to be right in his sight when they believe on Jesus. Romans 5.18, Christ, one act of righteousness, brings a right relationship with God and a new life for all. Philippians 3.9, we become righteous through faith in Christ, for God's way of making us right with himself depends on our faith. Hebrews 11.7, Noah received the righteousness that comes by faith. James 2.23, God counted Abraham righteous because of his faith. He was called the friend of God. Romans 4.11, this happened even before Abraham was circumcised. So Abraham is the spiritual father of those who have faith but not circumcised. They can be counted righteous because of their faith. Romans 4, 6, happy are those declared righteous without working for it. Romans 3, 24, God declares we are righteous through Jesus Christ, whom he free, who freed us from the penalty of our sins. Attaining righteousness is a matter of the heart. Matthew 23, 28, outwardly you look like righteous people, but inwardly you are your hearts are full of hypocrisy and lawlessness bottom line it's only when our spiritual needs take precedence over meeting our physical needs that we can be truly satisfied in this life luke 16:15 for what the world honors is detestable in the sight of god words of encouragement god wants our whole heart and he notices when we slack hebrews 11:6 without faith it's impossible to please god those who come to him might believe that he is God and God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Matthew 25, 46, the reward is the righteous will go into eternal life. Or Matthew 13, 43 says the righteous will shine like the sun in the father's kingdom. Have a great day.